Today I'm going to show you how to make this necklace that I am calling Crystal Diamonds. And um, this is basically just a right angle weave that's embellished. It does take quite a bit of time to make this project and it does take quite a bit of crystal. Now this necklace is right around 19 inches. I am going to list the materials for the same size necklace, basically 19 inches. There are ways, of course, to increase or decrease the length of the necklace. You can either add more of these little end units here, you can add more of the right angle weave units, or you can subtract these units or the right angle units. Or um, you can also add length with uh, the size of your clasp. So keep in mind that the amount of um, beads that I'm going to give you today are for the size necklace that I have made. However, it will vary if you decide to change the length of your necklace. So let's look at the beads we're going to need. Six millimeter. This, you will need about 220 of the, your six millimeter crystals. I am then going to use a four millimeter bicone crystal bicone crystal, which is also a Swarovski, and it's a clear, and you will need about 190 of them. You will also need 8 O seed beads, 11 O seed beads, and 15 O seed beads. I am using Toho Permanent Finish Gold Metallic Seed Beads today in all three sizes. You will also need a little clasp. I'm using this little antique gold colored toggle clasp and you will need two wire guardians. I seem to have run out of gold wire guardians so I'm going to have to use silver and um, sometimes it blends better than I think it's going to but I can always change it out later if I need to. You will also need a beading needle either size 10 or size 12 and you will need 8 pound or 6 pound fire line. I'm going to use a size 10 and I'm going to use 8 pound fire line. Now let's get started with our okay. project. To start, you will put two wingspans of fire line, 8 pound or 6 pound, onto your needle. I'm not going to use that much right now, just to show you the basic beginning stitch so you do not have to watch me pull a bunch of thread through. Leave a 14 to 12, in, 12 to 14 inch tail. Um, the longer the better. And I'm also not going to leave that much right now, just so that it doesn't get in my way so badly. Pick up on your needle four 11 o seed beads. Bring them to the end of your thread, leaving your tail, as we discussed, and then sew back from the first bead to the last bead you added. And then tie a knot. And this is what you will have. Just one little unit of right angle weave of 11 O seed beads. Now we're going to sew back through all four of them, going around until we get back to our knot and tail. Once you've gone all the way around and you're by your tail, you will then sew all the way to the opposite bead. So this is the one where my tail is coming out of. I'm going to go through it. My knot is there. So now I want to sew all the way to the opposite bead. So I'm going to sew up through the side bead and then through the top bead on the opposite side where my tail is coming out of. So this is what you will have. 
and this is where we will begin our weave with our crystals. So we will pick up onto our needle a 6mm bicone crystal, an 8-0 -oh seed bead, a 6mm bicone crystal, an 11-0 -oh seed bead, a 6mm bicone crystal, and an 8-0 -oh seed bead, and a 6mm bicone crystal. This is what you will have on your needle. Start with a bicone, end with a bicone. You will have two 8-0 -oh seed beads on the ends and an 11-0 -oh in the middle, just like that. Then we are coming out of this side of our 11-0 in our little 11-0 unit. We're going to go into the opposite side that our thread is exiting and pull. And this is what you will have. Now, of course, this is weak and not secured whatsoever. So we're going to sew all the way around this unit and back through the 11 0 we connected to. So I'm going to sew back through all of my beads. When you get about halfway through, you can pull your tension tight and pull the unit together very tightly. Back through the 11 L, and again pull your tension tight and straighten up your unit so that it looks like this. Just like that. Now we're secure but we need to sew up through this bead and this bead. This 8 0 is where we are going to begin our embellishment. So we will sew into our crystal and then exit the 8 0 seed bead. Or I'm not, yes, the 8 0 seed bead. And now we are going to start an embellishment our um, six millimeter crystal across the top. So how we're going to do that is we're going to pick up two 15 0 seed beads, a six millimeter crystal, and two 15 0 seed beads onto our needle. And this is what you will have. You're coming out of this side of the 8 0. We're going to go into the opposite 8 0 on the opposite side in a diagonal movement. So we will go into this 8 0 seed bead and pull. Just like that. Pull your embellishment across the top of your unit. And then you will pick up two more 15 0 seed beads so we can secure the other half. We're going to we're coming out of the 8 0. We're going to go into the crystal. Just like that. Now we need to secure this side to the 8 0. So we will pick up two 15 0 seed beads. And we will go into the 8 0 on the opposite side where we have already placed. Our connection with our other um, 15 0 seed beads. And that is what it will look like. And now we are going to make an embellishment, one more embellishment in both of the 8 0 seed beads. And what, how we are going to do that is we're going to pick up a 15 0 seed bead. And I have to say, I've been having issues with my galvanized gold seed beads today. They do not want to allow me through. The finished has blocked a lot of these beads. So if I'm having issues, that's why. The seed beads I used in my pink necklace did not do that. So, so you will pick up a 15 0, oh, a 4 millimeter um, bicone crystal, an 11 0, oh, a 4 millimeter bicone crystal, and a 15 onto your needle. That's what it'll look like, and you'll bring it down, and we will come into the opposite side of this 8 0 seed bead. We're exiting here, we're going to go in on this side. 
and pull our beads to our eight o. Now again, these beads are loose. They need to be secured. So we will sew up through the 15, the four millimeter crystal, and pull through. We will then sew through our 11 o seed bead, and then through the four millimeter crystal on the other side and the 15 o pull through, and then you will sew into the 8 o just the 8 o on the unit and pull tight. And now we have half of our embellishment. We need to sew all the way over to this 8 o to do another embellishment on the other side. So we will come up through the bicone crystal So through the 11 o so through the crystal and the 8 o and exit the 8 o on the opposite side that we were just working on. Now we will pick up and do exactly the same thing that we did on the other side. A 15 o seed bead, a 4 millimeter crystal, an 11 o seed bead, a 4 millimeter crystal, and a 15 o seed bead. Drop them down. We are coming out of this side of the 8 We will enter the opposite side. And again, we will then need to secure the beads we just added. So we will sew through all of the beads we just added. Pull them tight as you move through the unit that you, you're working on. <clears throat> and then come through the 8 on the unit. And now we need to work back up to this 11 o seed bead. I know this seems like a whole lot of sewing, but this is going to secure your units. This is going to make your necklace strong and it also keeps me from having to work with two needles because if I can do right angle weave without two needles I prefer that way. It's just a personal choice but I prefer that. So we're going to sew through the crystal and the 11 o just in the original unit. Don't go through any of the 15 o's in our embellishments. Then we'll go up through this crystal and this 8 o If you want to, you can turn the unit over. As you're doing this, you can see your, where you need to go a little better. Back through the bicone crystal, back through the 11 o on the opposite side from where we made our little 11 o pico. So now <clears throat> we need to make another little pico so that we can connect our next unit to it. So we will pick up three 11 o seed beads. Our thread is exiting here. We will come into the opposite side. Pull and now we will sew around the little unit we just added to secure it. So all the way around until you reach the side of the connecting bead in the crystal unit. And go through it. Pull your unit tight. Then we need to sew through this bead to get to this bead to start our unit again. So we will sew up through the side bead and then through the most forward bead. 
And now we are ready to start our next unit. We will pick up a 6mm bicone crystal, an 8O seed bead, a 6mm bicone crystal, an 11O seed bead, a 6mm bicone crystal, an 8O seed bead, and a 6mm bicone crystal. Just like we did before, 8 O's on either side, 11 O in the middle, start with a bicone, end with a bicone. We are coming out of this side of our little 11 O unit. We're going to go into the opposite side that our thread is exiting. And pull. And again, we will sew around this entire unit to secure it until we come back to the bead that is connecting us to our little 11 O unit. Oops. Pull tight tension as you do this. This is your base unit, so you want them to be strong and tight. You don't want them to be mushy. And as you work through it, they will be a little strange, but when you get to the end bead, you can tighten it, just like that. And now we need to work up to our 8 seed bead again, so we can do our embellishments. So we'll go through the crystal and the 8 And now we will add our crystal on top. We will pick up two 15 O seed beads, a six millimeter crystal, and two 15 O seed beads onto our needle. This. We are exiting here. We are going to go into the opposite bead on the opposite side and enter the opposite side. And just go through the 8 0. This tail is giving me grief today. I didn't even leave a long one. There we go. And then we are going to pick up, we need to secure the other half here. So we're going to pick up two more 15 0 seed beads. We're going to go back through our bicone crystal on top. And then we need to secure to the 8 seed bead on the opposite side. So we need two more 15 O's to get us there. And we will go through the 8 seed bead. And that's what that will look like. And now we are exiting our 8 seed bead on this side. We need to make our little four millimeter crystal embellishments on the top. So we will pick up a 15 O seed bead, a four millimeter crystal, an 11 O seed bead, a four millimeter crystal, and a 15 O seed bead. And we will drop them down. We are coming out of this side of the 8 We will go into the opposite side of the 8 and pull. Now we need to secure our unit so we will sew back through the unit and then into the 8 seed bead. Pull the unit tight. And that's what that should look like. And now we need to work all the way down to this 8 seed bead. So we're going to slide through the crystal 
MD11O. Pull. Then we are going to go through the 6 millimeter crystal and the 8 0 and exit the 8 0 And again, we will add our embellishment with the 15 0 seed bead, a 4 millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, a uh, 4 millimeter bicone crystal, and a 15 0 seed bead. And drop them down. Then come into the opposite side of the 8 0. Pull tight. Now we will sew through and secure this unit again. And then once we have done that, we will sew to our 11 0 seed bead and add another unit of, of our um, 11 0 seed beads into our little peacoat here so that we can begin our next crystal unit. We will do this until we have 12 of these crystal units with a little four, um, a, a little pico in between each unit. So you will make 12 crystal units and between each unit you will have your little connectors and you will end with a connecting unit of 11 OC beads. And then we will be back. Okay, so I have made my 12 units and I've ended with the Pico on this side, my little right angle unit with 11 O's. I've sewed around and secured it. However, this time, instead of sewing all the way around and coming out of this most forward bead so that we can add our next unit, we're going to sew around, secure it, and then sew into one of the side beads here. I'm considering this forward and this bottom. So I'm going to come out of the bottom bead. Now it doesn't matter which side of your necklace is top or bottom, just choose one. And once you do this, this will establish what side of the necklace is bottom. Come through the little 11 o seed bead and then pick up three more 11 o seed beads. We're going to make another pico. We're going to change direction now. We want our units to come down this way so that we can make our centerpiece. So we're going to pick up three 11 O's, go into the opposite side our thread is exiting of our 11 O on the bottom. And this is what this should look like. Let's get really close here. Just like that. Now just as we have been doing we're going to sew around and we're going to secure this little unit. So all the way through all of them. And then this time we are going to exit, we're going to sew down until we get to the very bottom bead here. The bead towards me is what I am counting as bottom. And I'm going to exit the little bottom bead. Exit this little 11 0 here. So now you have a pico that's coming straight out and then you have a pico that's going down. And we are going to exit out through the bottom. And we are going to start our units again. Now we'll pick up a 6, an 8, a 6 millimeter bicone. An 11, a 6 millimeter bicone, an 8, and a 6 millimeter bicone. Just as we've been doing all along, and we'll bring them down. Now we are exiting out of this side of the 11 out. We're going to go into the opposite side and pull. And now we're going to sew just like we have been all the way around our new unit here until we come back to our 11 0 that we're connected to and sew through it. OK, 
Okay, so I've sewn through my entire unit and I am exiting the 11-0 that I connected to. Now I'm going to sew through the bicone crystal and the 8 and make my embellishment. We will then sew all the way around until we can get to this 11. So we'll just sew through our main units and here we will add we will add another pico. Now you can see our necklace will turn here now. And we'll add our pico and we'll make six more units going this direction. Same thing, it'll be exactly the same. You've already got your turn here. I finished my five units extending from the two little units of 11 O seed beads that we did at the end of our 12 unit strand. So now that we have made our five units, we are going to make sure we've ended with a little pico on the end here with our little unit of right angle weave of our 11 O's. And I have sewn all the way through until I'm coming out. I, I put my beads on, sewed through until I'm coming out of the 11 O connecting to the unit here. And now I need to get up to these beads on top here. We're going to make the shape of our um, little centerpiece. We're going to put our first embellishment on that so that it's done and we can sew back over and finish the other side of our necklace. So how we're going to do that is we're coming out of this little 11 0 here. We're going to sew into the crystal bead here. And then we are going to sew up into the 15-0 right underneath the 4 millimeter crystal. And into the 4 millimeter crystal on top of the last unit here. Pull the thread through. And now we are going to go into this 11-0 seed bead on top of our last unit. Now make sure you're doing this, or your necklace is, the, remember we established the top and the bottom, and make sure that this little connection is going to go down, headed downward, so that we will make a little loop like this. And that your beads on top are facing up towards you. Because sometimes this will flip around and you'll get it twisted and so the bottom, and then it won't work. <clears throat> so now that we're coming out of this little 11 0 seed bead here, we're going to pick up a 4 millimeter crystal on our needle and we are going to go into the next 11 0 seed bead on top of the units, of the five units that we made on our last step. And then once you've pulled that through, you will go into the next one. and pull it through. So we're just going to add four millimeter crystals between all the little beads on top here of our five units. And this will pull it into a horseshoe shape. <clears throat> Once you get to the end here, Then we will work our way back across. So we will pick up a four millimeter crystal and then an 11 0 seed bead. Oops, dropped it. And a four millimeter crystal. Drop them down. And now we will sew back through all of these beads that we added. So we're going to go down into just the 11 -0 right here between the first, on top of the first unit before the first 4 millimeter crystal that you added in this step. So go into that little 11 -0 and pull the thread. And that will cinch it together and you'll have a little star in the middle here. Now you will just sew through all the beads you just added 
and the 11 O's that they are connected to. All the way across. My dog is snoring. I'm sure you can probably all hear that. <laughs> okay. We're going to go all the way up into the very last 11 ohm that we're connected to. Pull the thread through. Make sure to pull everything tight, no slack in your thread whatsoever. And then we will sew back through these top beads that we just added. So go through the four millimeter crystal here. And the 11 O in the middle. And then the last four millimeter crystal. <clears throat> And then we will sew into this little 11 O right here. Now we need to get back up to this unit. So we are going to sew in our original thread path. We're going to go down through this little bead here that's connected to the 11 O we're coming out of. Our thread is coming out here. So we're going to sew into this little crystal here, the 15 O beneath the crystal, and the 8 O seed bead that it's attached to that the little 15 O was originally secured to. Then we're going to sew through the crystal on the side of the 8 O here. And then up through the 11 O that's connecting our little unit of 11 O's. So now I'm coming out of this little 11 O that's connecting to my unit here, my last unit that I made. And I'm going to sew up <clears throat> into the top seed bead here so that I am again ready to make my next little unit. Now, if you remember, we had put two units here on this side, so we need to do the same. We will put another little unit of 11 O seed beads coming out of the top seed bead here. So we will pick up, <clears throat> excuse me, I have allergies this morning and my throat is kind of bothering me. I apologize. So we'll pick up three 11 O seed beads And we will connect to the top bead here, go through the opposite side our thread is coming out of, and pull them tight. And then we will sew through all of these beads to secure them. <clears throat> and sew back around till you get to the bead that secures this unit to the previous unit. Once you're there, <clears throat> then we are going to need to sew around. So we're coming out of the bottom bead and we sewed this until we secured to the unit. Now, well, can't seem to. So we're coming out of this little bead here. We're going to sew all the way up until we come out of this bead here. Because, like we did on this side, we need to establish our thread path for our next unit so that it'll lay sideways and go up into a, the part of the necklace that goes around our neck. So we will sew up into this bead, this bead, and then exit this bead.
Okay, now that we are there and our thread is ready, we will begin our next unit of right angle weave. So we will pick up our crystals and 8-0 and 11-0, just like we were doing on the other side. So 6 millimeter crystal, 8-0 seed bead, um, 6 millimeter crystal, 11-0 seed bead, 6 millimeter crystal, 8-0 seed bead, and 6 millimeter crystal. So this is what we have here just like we were doing on the other side. Now we are going to drop them down. We are coming out of this side of this little 11 o seed bead right here. We are going to go into the opposite side of the bead that the thread is exiting and pull. And now we will sew around and secure this unit and do exactly as we were doing on the other side. We will do our embellishment with our crystal on top of the unit, our embellishments with our crystals coming out of the 8-0 seed bead on both sides, and then we will make a connecting unit of 11-0 seed beads on the very last 11-0 on this side, and just continue making units until we have 12 on this side of our centerpiece. So, we will do exactly the same thing we did on the other side of the necklace, heading this direction now. When you sew around this unit, you will again do your little connection of your 11 0 seed beads and then continue to your next unit. You don't have to worry about changing direction anymore. Our centerpiece is done. So, we will just do 12 units on the other side of the necklace and then we will be back. Okay, so I have made my 12 crystal units on the other side now and I'm finished with that. And now I am going to get ready to put the clasp on this side before we begin our first embellishment into the crystal units on the outside of our units here. So let me get close so you can see where I am. My thread is coming out of the top of the last 11-0 right angle weave unit that I made connecting to my last crystal unit. So now I am going to pick up to add my clasp area I'm going to make a little extender on this necklace you can see I made two little extenders and you can make just one or two depending upon how much length you want. I'm going to make two I want this one just to be a little bit longer so I'm going to pick up two 11 seed beads, a 6 millimeter crystal, an 8 seed bead, and a 6 millimeter crystal, and two 11 O's. Just like this. Now I'm going to drop it down to my last little unit on my necklace and I'm going to sew through the bead that I'm coming out of on the opposite side that I'm exiting and pull through. Let's get a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to sew up through this unit that I just added all of my beads and secure it <clears throat> so that it's nice and tight and um, not wobbly at all. So just sew through the entire unit here. Back into the 11 0 seed bead that I connected to. And then back up through the 11 0s and the crystal until I get to my 8 0 on top here. And I'm going to do exactly what I just did. Again, I'm going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads, a 6 millimeter crystal, an 8 0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter crystal, and two 11 0s. Just like this. And then I am going to bring them down to my 8 0 in my last unit I made. 
Just get so you can see us a little bit better. There we go. I am coming out of this side. I'm going to go into the opposite side of the 8-0. And I am going to pull tight and secure this unit again as we did the first one. So all the way up through it. Through the 11 O's and the connecting 8 O. And then I'm going to sew back up until I get to my top 8 O seed bead so that I can prepare it for my wire guardian. Now we will also need jump rings for this project. I seem to forget those a lot lately. We will need two jump rings unless you want to put your um, clasp onto your wire guardian and sew it on at the same time. I don't think that I have a preference on that. You can do it either way. I just would rather not have it in my way right now. So I am going to um, just connect my wire guardian and have it ready for my jump rings and my clasp. So I'm going to pick up an 11 OC bead. I'm coming out of my um, bead right here. I'm going to pick up an 11 0 seed bead and I'm going to go up through one side of my wire guardian and pull down. And then I will sew through the other side of my wire guardian. Pull my thread through while squeezing so that I can direct it into the divot on top of the wire guardian. Just like that. Now, um, We'll tighten it some more after we put our next bead on. We'll just pick up one 11 o seed bead and go through the other side of the 8 o seed bead that's connected to our last unit. And we will pull. Just make sure that your thread stays inside your wire guardian on, in the divot. And then go ahead and sew through this little wire guardian, the 11 o's, the 8 o, and all the way around at least three times and we will okay, be so back. Okay, so I have secured my wire guardian onto my last unit I made. So now I am coming out of this little 8 o seed bead here in my unit. And I need to sew all the way through these beads to get to this one. We will start our next embellishment out of this little 11 o in our top um, crystal units. So, the way we're going to do that is just start sewing through our beads and work our way over to that bead. Now I'm following my original thread path, trying not to cross threads or go any direction that I haven't already gone with my thread. Any path will work as long as it will lead you to your top unit here. Now, once we're here, you need it really close. It would be better if we could sew through and start at um, the top here, but we can't do that because we're going the wrong direction for our thread path. So we're going to take our little thread bridge here and we're going to tie a little tiny knot right on our thread bridge and hide it by pulling it through this crystal. We're going to sew it this way. That way we can come back around this unit, come through this 8-0, slide up the 15s, and go into this little 11 without crossing our, our thread path. So we're going to sew through this crystal. And 
I'm just going to sew through the original unit and only the beads in the original unit, the 11 O's, 8 O's, and 6 millimeter crystals. I am not going to sew through any of my embellishment 15 O's as I work my way over. Now this one's a little thread tight, and so I'm just going to pull it through. Okay, and now I can just go directly up my little crystal here, my four millimeter crystal, because I'm coming out. Well, actually, I have to go into the 15O also right underneath it. But I'm coming out my original 8O. So I'm going to follow how I put on my um, embellishment in the first place. So I have to go up the 15 and into the 4mm crystal. This is going to give me a bit of a fit with those 15s. So I'm going to pull through with my pliers. And then I am now right next to my 11 where I want to be. So I'm going to go through my 11 CB. And now I can start my next embellishment. Work from this 11 0 back down into this 11 0 and, and then up into this 11 0 and move across the entire length of our necklace here. So, the way we're going to do that is we're going to pick up two 11 0s and 8 0, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, and two 15 0s. Drop them down and then slide into this middle 11 O right here in your little unit in the middle here. So the one that's sticking up, you'll go through and pull your thread and your beads down to the middle, just like that. Now you'll pick up two more 15 O's because we need to work back up. So we will grab two 15 O seed beads and then we'll slide back up this six millimeter bicone crystal right here. And pull. And then just tighten and straighten everything up. Just like that. Don't want any slack, so make sure your thread is nice and tight. And then we are going to work over to this little 11 O seed bead. So we're going to pick up an 8 O and two 11 O's and slide into the 11 O seed bead on top of the next unit. Just like that. There we go. Now make sure you're working out of the crystals on the top of your unit, not on the bottom. And the way you'll know is your center piece is on the bottom. We want to be working out the top right now. So we have made one embellishment. Let's do another one and then I'll let you finish that up until we get towards the middle which will change just slightly when we get to the middle where our center piece is. So let's pick up an 8 seed bead or excuse me Let's pick up two 11 O seed beads, an 8 O, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, two 15 O seed beads. Go through the middle 11 O seed bead on your unit between your crystal units and pull. Then pick up two more 11 O seed beads. Oops, those are 15s. Two 11 O's, or no, yes, two 15s, excuse me. Pick up two 15 seed beads. We're going to come back up through the six millimeter bicone crystal. Then we need to work back over to the next one. So we are going to pick up an 8 O seed bead and two 11 O seed beads 
and go into the next 11 on top of the next unit. Let's do one more since I made that one so confusing. This is going to kind of pull your work and cinch it in. This is going to make your um, length a little bit smaller. That's why I have put these units on the end because by the time we do this embellishment, we're going to lose a little bit of length in our original units. So now we're going to do the next embellishment. We're going to pick up two 11 0 seed beads, an 8 0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter bicone, and two 15 0 seed beads. This is what you'll have. And then we'll drop them down. We'll go through the middle 11 0 in the middle unit between the crystal units and pull. Tighten it up. Pick up two more 15 0 seed beads and come up through the 6 millimeter bicone crystal we just added. Tighten it up. Pick up an 8 0 seed bead and two 11 0 seed beads and slide into the next unit. Now I want you to continue doing this until we reach all the way to this top unit here. Go ahead and make an embellishment from here to here and then we will come back at the end when we get to our middle centerpiece. Okay, so I have finished my entire embellishment on the first side of my necklace where I started. As you can see, as I pulled my embellishment tight, it kind of curved the necklace. You want to keep your embellishment tight. Do not let it, it doesn't have to be so tight that it won't move, but enough to where there's not a lot of thread showing anywhere and let it curve the necklace in. You want that to happen. Now I have come all the way to the end here. My thread is now coming out of this little 11 0 seed bead in my very last top crystal unit here. And now I need to move over to this unit. So I'm going to pick up a series of beads to lead me over to this side so that I can begin the same embellishment we did on this side over here. What we will need will be two 11 0 seed beads, an 8 0, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, and an 8 0, two 11 0s, and an 8 0, a 4 millimeter bicone crystal, an 8 0, two 11 0s, and an 8 0, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, an 8 0, and two 11 0. So what you will have will be two 11 O's and 8 0, a 6 millimeter bicone and 8 0, two 11 O's and 8 0, a 4 millimeter bicone and 8 0, two 11 O's and 8 0, 6 millimeter bicone crystal and 8 0, and two 11 O's. Drop them down, slide into the unit on the opposite side into the 11 O seed bead on top. After we come through the little 11 0 on top here, then we are going to start our embellishment again into the next unit. So we will pick up two 11 0 seed beads, an 8 0, a, a 6 millimeter crystal, and two 15 0 seed beads, like this. And then we will move into this seed bead between the units and do our embellishment just like we did on the other side. Come up through the 11 ohm. 
pick up two more 15s, come through the crystal, Then pick up an 8 0 and two 11 0s and come through the next 11 0 in the next unit and pull. Now you will continue this embellishment all the way until you get to the end of the necklace here. Go ahead and go into the very last 11 o seed bead and we will come back. Okay, so I have finished my embellishment on the inside of the other half of the necklace now. And I am now coming out of the very last crystal embellishment, the 11 o and the last crystal embellishment on the inside here. So I'm going to make sure that my tension is pulled pretty well and I'm coming out of this little 11 -0 right here. Let's get a little closer. Right here, I'm going to sew down into this four millimeter crystal. So I'm going to sew through the little bead right beneath the four millimeter crystal, the 15 -0 and the 8 -0 seed bead, and I'm going to pull my needle through a little thread tight so I'm just going to use my flat nose pliers and pull it through and then we're going to sew into the original unit the crystal and the 11 0 connector in between the two units then I will sew up into this crystal here And at the 8 0 on the other side here. Now I need to sew up into the 15 0 and the 4 millimeter crystal. So we'll go up into the 15 0 seed bead. And the 4 millimeter crystal. And I'm going to pull it through as these little galvanized 15 0s are pretty tight. And now I am going to go into the top crystal in my first unit, or the top 11 0 seed bead in the crystal unit. So now that we're coming out of this little 11 0 seed bead on top of our unit, our little embellishment unit, we will now work through this seed bead and this seed bead again, adding another embellishment. This embellishment has two six millimeter crystals and two four instead of the last one that was a little bit simpler. So we're going to start by picking up a four millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, a six millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, an 8 0 seed bead, and two 15 0 seed beads. And this is what you will have. 4 millimeter crystal, 11, 6 millimeter, 11, 8 0, 2 15s. And then again, we will work from this seed bead to this seed bead. So we're going to slide down into the middle unit, 11 0, and pull our crystals and our seed beads down. Now we need to work back up and over into this little seed bead. So we need to pick up two. 15 0 seed beads and we need to work into the 8 0 seed bead that we added in our last series of beads and we will pull and then to work up into the little 11 0 we will need to pick up an 11 0 a 6 millimeter bicone crystal an 11 0 and a 4 millimeter bicone crystal just like this and then we will work into the next 11 0 seed bead. And now we have our first embellishment complete. Now we will work the same embellishment from seed bead to seed bead. We'll do that 
one more time so that we can make sure that we have the hang of what we're doing here. So we're going to pick up a 4 millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, an 8 0 seed bead, and two 15 0 seed beads. And this is what we have and we will go down into the middle 11 0 seed bead between the units now we need to work back up so we will pick up two 15 0 seed beads and come up through the 8 0 seed bead in our first series that we added We will then pick up an 11 0 seed bead, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, an 11 0 seed bead, and a 4 millimeter bicone crystal. This, and we will work into the next 11 0 on top of the next unit. And pull. Now you will continue doing this embellishment all the way the entire length of the necklace until we reach this very last unit here. Let me move so you can see a little bit closer. We will work into, until we get to this unit right here before the last unit before our little um, double segment of 11 0 seed beads and then we'll be back okay so I have finished my embellishment all the way to the end of my little unit to the point to where my two little 11 0 joint units to my centerpiece are so I finished all the way to the end here now I have my two little joints and I have this little 11 0 here to join to so that I can work back around and do the same embellishment in these other units. And the only change we're going to make is that instead of doing an entire unit here where the doubles are, we're just going to pick up one 4 millimeter crystal and we're going to slide from this little 11 0 we're exiting into the next 11 0 on top of the unit after the little joint of two 11 0 units right here just like that and then we're going to begin our embellishments exactly the same as we've been doing on this side and work all the way around the center of the unit here then we will come back up when we come to the other side where the two little double units are you'll put one little simple um, four millimeter bicone crystal here and then continue doing the same embellishment all the way up until we are all the way to the end of the necklace on this on the outside and then we'll tie off this side and we'll add our clasp on the other side so go ahead and continue your embellishment now in the on the centerpiece here it's exactly the same as we've been doing you will just go ahead and start with your 4 millimeter bicone crystal, do the same series of beads, go down into this 11 0, work over to this one, and down into this one all the way around. And we'll be back. Okay, I am back. I have finished the embellishment on the outside now. I worked from where we added our little 4 millimeter crystal all the way around the bottom, all, and then added another little 4 millimeter crystal where the little joint was, and then worked my way all the way to the top. Once I got to the top, into the very last unit here I came through the little 11 0 on the top and then down through the 4 millimeter crystal the 15 0 so through my main unit and then I tied a knot so through again a couple of units and tied off now that I have tied off with my working thread I've put my needle onto my tail thread on the other side of the necklace and I am exiting the little 11 0 
on the most outside part of the first little unit of four 11 O's that we made when we started our necklace. And I will now add the two little extensions on the end so that we can put on our wire protectors for our clasp. So in doing that, we'll do just like we did the other side. We will pick up two 11 O seed beads, a six millimeter crystal, an eight O seed bead, a six millimeter crystal, if I can pick one up, and two 11 O seed beads. Just like that. And then we will go through the seed bead on the opposite side we're exiting and we will now secure this unit just like we did the other side we'll sew up through all the beads so through the 8 and the 6 on top so through the 11 O's and the 11 O that we are attached to then we have to work back up to the 8 so we will go back up into the 8 and pick up another unit. So we will pick up two 11 O seed beads, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, an 8 O seed bead, a 6 millimeter bicone crystal, and two 11 O's. And we're coming out of the 8 O. We will come into the opposite side that our thread is exiting and secure that. So all the way around, secure this unit. Add your 11 O, your wire protector, and your 11 O. Sew through that a couple of times, secure it. Sew back through your units, into your main unit, tie a knot, and cut off. And we will be back. Okay, so now I've secured my end and sewn through my units and tied off my tail, cut it off. And now I am going to add my jump rings and put my toggle clasp on. So I have these little jump rings here and I'm going to open it from side to side, slide it onto my wire protector and slide on half of my clasp and then close my jump ring. Do the same on the other side. And close it. And then I will show you what it looks like. And this is what the finished project looks like. It's really very pretty. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make this necklace. And good luck in so doing, and have fun. Bye-bye.